guys, so tonight we're talking about a really important topic in biology called protein synthesis. Now, we've already reviewed the basics of the differences between DNA and RNA, so let's back up a little bit. How do we get from that DNA molecule, those instructions for everything, to the actual protein that makes something happen in your body? How do we go from a double helix to the color of our eyes? Ooh. So, it all comes down to protein synthesis, which is what we're going to learn about tonight. Okay, this idea, this central dogma of molecular biology... Central dogma of biology. ...is that we go from DNA to RNA to a protein in several steps. Now, RNA is the key. So, here are the differences we reviewed already. RNA is single-stranded, whereas DNA is double-stranded. Remember that double helix? RNA uses uracil instead of thymine, so instead of a T, we're going to have a U. And RNA contains ribose instead of a deoxyribose. So that's why it's called ribonucleic acid instead of deoxyribonucleic acid. RNA just a ribose, DNA deoxyribose. So the first type of RNA we're going to study is mRNA or messenger RNA. So our mRNA is going to be a messenger between the nucleus and the ribosome. So remember our DNA is all inside the nucleus, but um, our proteins are going to be made outside of the nucleus by ribosomes. So our messenger RNA is going to be that guy who sends that information from the nucleus to the ribosome. Now we also have ribosomal RNA, which as you can guess is called rRNA, and that's going to form a part of the ribosome. So just think rRNA, ribosome, ribosomal RNA, it all starts with an R, not too complicated. And lastly, we're going to have our tRNA, or transfer RNA. So tRNA is going to transfer amino acids to the ribosomes to build a protein. Pretty cool. Okay, so here we go. The first step of protein synthesis. We're going to do transcription. So it's the process of making or transcribing mRNA from the DNA in the nucleus. Okay, so looking at transcription, it's just like DNA replication, except only one side is copied, our coding strand or template strand, and instead of T's matching up where they would normally on a DNA molecule, it's going to be U's because it's RNA, and RNA doesn't use T, it uses U, uracil. The direction of transcription is just the same from 5' prime to 3', prime, and when this entire template strand or coding strand is copied, the mRNA strand will travel outside the nucleus to get ready for translation. Step 2. Translation. Now we're going from RNA to protein. So this happens outside the nucleus, and it's going to make the proteins at the ribosomes using mRNA as a template, and tRNAs that carry amino acids. All right, so translation makes proteins at ribosomes using mRNA template and tRNAs that carry amino acids. So here's how it works. Now, mRNA has these things called codons, and codons are just three bases that code for a specific amino acid. And tRNA is going to have anticodons. Now, these are the opposite or the complementary bases for the codons. So, you know, C normally matches with G, U or T normally matches with A, and A is going to match with U. So the anticodon is the opposite of the codon. So the thing to remember, mRNA has the codons, tRNA has the anticodons, and that they're opposite mRNA codons, so the tRNA can find its match. So let's look at our chain and see what the next codon in line is, GCG. So that means we need an anticodon that reads CGC. Well, that anticodon is connected to the tRNA, which is going to drag along one of our amino acids, which in this case is alanine. So once this tRNA hooks up with the codon, we can connect alanine to the growing amino acid chain that will eventually be our protein. And remember, all of this happens inside a ribosome. Couldn't happen without those good old ribosomes. So let's review how it works one more time. mRNA is read by the ribosome one codon at a time. tRNA anticodon matches to the mRNA codon. tRNA amino acids are linked 
to make a protein once they match the mRNA codon, and then the used tRNA is going to leave, and the next codon is red, and the process continues until we have a protein. So remember the central dogma of molecular biology? We start at DNA, and we go to RNA. That process is called transcription. The next step from our mRNA to our chain of amino acid, which will be our protein, is called translation. Trans okay, so that's all for protein synthesis. Hope you got it. We're going to be trying it in class tomorrow. See ya.